Welcome back everyone. So in this tutorial, I will show you how we can implement in-app purchases with this package right here. Uh, be sure to start him on GitHub. He's doing a fantastic job with this uh, package. And uh, let's just get right into it. Get a free full month of Skillshare and stream more than 18,000 online classes on subjects like design, business and tech. After a while, if you feel like this isn't for you, you can always cancel a subscription and not pay anything. So don't wait, try it out now. The link is in the description. So I have already implemented the package in the YAML file and ran packages get. So let's start off with uh, importing the package. So here we can import the package and we have to add a in-app purchase ID or in-app product ID. So we will use the Android test purchase. Uh, this will not work on iOS. So to get this working uh, fully without a test in-app purchase, uh, you will have to create a product in uh, the Android console and also the iTunes console. Uh, and then we'll just use those IDs and put there and put there. So to make this scalable, we have a list of items. So if we want to have multiple in-app products, we can have the list. So let's start by overriding our init state and calling our init platform state. So with this, uh, we will call the init connection. So this is necessary for Android, uh, but not iOS. This will check uh, on iOS. This will just check if it's true or false, if the device can handle the purchase. And we have to refresh the consumable items. So to make this consumable, we have to refresh them. And then we have to call our method to get our product. So without this, you won't see any products up here. And the get products is very simple. Uh, this will just create a list with items and we will get the products with our ID of the product. We loop through them, which is only one at the moment. And we just add the item and then the set state. So, uh, this method will run, find the items, and put the item in this list up here. So let's start by creating our by product method. Uh, so this by product method will call the by product uh, um, method with the ID of our item. So we call uh, we pass in our item in a parameter, and then again we consume all the items so we can purchase this again after we have purchased it. So let's start by creating our UI to display this item. So here we have a render button widget, which, which will be a list of widgets. We will take all the items, which is only one right now. We will map them and return a or put a container inside this. So for each item, this would, uh, it will add a widget. So right now we will have a container with height of 250 and infinite uh, width. So which will be the device width and return a card. So let's add that in the body and just hot restart. So now we should see a card right here. There we have the card. So inside this card, we have to add our product and title and everything we want to have in there. So I'll just add a column so we can have multiple items or widgets. So first up, I add a bit of spacing at the top and then put an align. Uh, so this align will just be the title of the product. So I will have banana right here. You can, instead of writing banana, you can have the item and then call the title. Uh, but to just make this more, more obvious. Uh, so then we add some spacing again and we add two aligns. So on these two aligns, we will just have a description of the item. Uh, and then let's add a button to purchase this item. So I add another spacing and then a sized box. So if I just show this first, it will cre create a round button right there. So I set the colors to blue and I set the round the corner to radius of 30. And inside this I call item price and item currency. That's why it says uh, the Swedish crown and not the US dollar. 
Uh, so let's try this out. If we refresh this. So if this is working now, we can see that it refreshed our console by items. So now we have a fresh banana right here. We can purchase it. So after the purchase, we can see that we, uh, with this we call our buy product. And now we have called uh, the buy product of the in a purchase uh, package with the item. So this will print purchased. So if we just show the, there we go. It will show the, the product ID and what and the price and everything. And after that, we call our consume all items. So without this, if we purchase this again, it will not work because the item is already consumed. But now we can purchase this again. So we can purchase this as many, how many times you want. Um, so that is all for this tutorial. I hope it helped. Uh, this is the code I use for my product uh, or my project I'm working with. And you will hear about that later. Uh, and as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Be sure to like the video if you like it and subscribe to uh, not miss any more content. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.